Hello YouTube, welcome back to a very long awaited airport update for Illinois Gateway International Airport. Uh, I honestly don't even know what update this is, it's been a very long time. Uh, but I hope this update makes up for it, we got plenty of new stuff to cover, we got a couple new models. Um, some that actually just came in today, uh, we got some new changes and stuff to, to the airport. So yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go over the changes when we get there. Um, so this update is based around 5 to 6 p.m. So it's around the time when the European flights are going back to their uh, destinations, so or origins, I guess. Um, so you'll start over here on runway 7 coming into land. We've got the Qatar Airways 777-300 year on the one road livery, uh, arriving slightly late from Doha. Over here is the first new model, the Lufthansa A34600 in the new livery, and this one is just getting ready to taxi out. Or, yeah, taxi on the runway for departure back to Frankfurt. Literally got this model a few minutes ago, came home from school. Uh, the box was on the door on my doorstep, so took it out the box. So yeah, beautiful model. The only thing I have an issue with is that, um, let me actually show you guys. It's quite imbalanced, if that's the right word. Like, kind of rocks back and forth like that. Like, it's not kind of balanced, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's the only issue. Other than that, it's pretty good. The gear are quite loose as well. Um, also, the nose gear. So, I'm going to have to try to fix that. So, yeah, you can see it's doing that again. So, that's the only issue I have with it. Other than that, it's good. Um, all right. So, I guess we'll do the cargo stands. So, cargo stands went ahead and uh, removed the whole building. It didn't really make sense having a building right here in the middle of a, a freaking taxiway and stuff, so went ahead and removed it. It was actually a pretty good idea since I got space for a mid-sized um, parking. So I'm going to have to put the foil. You'll see you'll see the foil. I'll have it done by the next update. But yeah, we got three cargo stands now, which is great. Or four, maybe, if you include that. But yeah, we got right here FedEx 757-200. This aircraft is going to... Head back to Memphis in about 45 minutes. UPS MD-11, which is just offloading after arrival from Ontario, California. Um, I don't know what this is operating for, but just a blank 747. Uh, Going to be heading off to Liege, Belgium in about three hours. And then over here we got the Iceland there, Heck Aurora 757. Uh, had a mechanical issue, so it's uh, sitting at the remote bay. In the hangars, oh boy. We got two uh, Boeing 737 MAX 8s, obviously um, with all the stuff going around with the 737 MAX, uh, they've been grounded everywhere around the world, so um, went ahead and implemented that in this airport, so we got Norwegian MAX 8, which is grounded here, uh, getting some work, and then a Southwest MAX 8 also getting work done, um, so yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the international. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do the international terminal now. Um, so over here, pushing back, got the British Airways triple seven three hundred ER heading back to London Heathrow. Over here, another new model, uh, Emirates Expo. It's not that new anymore, but Emirates triple seven three hundred ER on the orange Expo twenty twenty livery um, just came in from Dubai. Over here, American Airlines One World triple seven two hundred ER. Uh, taxiing out for departure to, uh, I'm going to say Madrid, I think that's right. Uh, it's a high triple seven three hundred ER, uh, just came from Abu Dhabi. And I think this is the first time in a while that you're seeing the new livery. Um, I don't know how long it's been since I put this one in an update, but, um, it's a high, they've been flying one of their Chicago, uh, one of their new livery triple sevens to Chicago lately. It's, uh, one of the six triple sevens that they fly to Chicago regularly. Um, they re they repainted it recently, so uh, it's been coming in quite often. So I thought I'd include that. Pretty cool. American triple seven three hundred ER getting ready to head off to London Heathrow in about forty minutes. Uh, Swiss A thirty three hundred headed back to Zurich. Uh, third new model. Uh, this one also just came in today. Icelander seven five seven three hundred in the. Uh, I think it's the 100 years of independence livery of the islands. Um, and this aircraft is going to head back to Reykjavik uh, soon. This is here, obviously, subbing in 
or as a replacement for the 752 that went, you know, tech over here. So, yeah, this is a great model. Really, really, really like it. Um, might have to get the Vatni Oakle 752 and hopefully a regular livery 757 soon. So, we'll see. I don't know what I'll do that, but yeah. All right, now on to the whatever terminal this is uh, Delta CRJ200. Uh, this aircraft just came in from uh, Minneapolis, uh, head back to Minneapolis. Uh, CRJ700 came from Cincinnati, be heading off to uh, Detroit. Another MD, uh, sorry, not another, but MD90, which uh, came in from Atlanta, be heading off to um, Detroit as well. 757-200 came from Salt Lake City, continuing onwards to Atlanta. Uh, Alaska 737-900ER and the Honoring Those Reserve Livery came in from Portland, headed back to Seattle, headed to Seattle. Uh, also, congrats to Portland on making the Western Conference Finals. Portland Trailblazers in the NBA, pretty cool. Obviously, they're gonna have to go. Up, they're gonna have to go up against Golden State, so that sucks. But congrats to them nonetheless. JetBlue E190 with the uh, what tail is this? Yeah, JetBlue E190 with the uh, barcode tail. This aircraft came from JFK, New York, and they'll head back to JFK. United 737-800. Uh, came in from Los Angeles, and it's gonna head to Newark. Uh, United Friendship A320. Uh, this aircraft came in from Washington, Dulles, so heading off. It'll head to Denver. Uh, 737 900 ER. Sorry, came in from uh, Houston. There we go. Houston. It'll head back to. Or sorry, came in from Washington, Dulles, and it'll continue to Houston. 777-200ER uh, operating to and from San Francisco and then the 767-300 over here which is going to and from Houston and as you can see I did finally add the uh, foil for this gate it looks really nice and clean uh, looks so good so yeah I'm really happy I added that and then to this gate I added another like parking line as you can see that's new um, don't know why, I thought it would be interesting to add, so, yeah. And you can see the roads, add the roads there as well. So, yeah. Alright, uh, over here, got an American One World, 737-800, taxiing out for departure. This is headed off to, um, New York LaGuardia today. Now on to the American Airlines terminal. Back here we got a 737-800, which is, uh, operating to Tulsa, and it came in from Washington Reagan. Got an A321, which uh, arrived from Boston, and is going to continue down to Dallas-Fort Worth. Got a 777-200 over here, which is here from Miami, and I'll go back to Miami. Got the PSA Retro A319, came in from Charlotte, be headed to San Antonio. 757-200, uh, came in from uh, JFK, and it'll go to Miami as well. A 737-800, this one came in from, uh, I'm go ahead and say Philadelphia, and it'll go to, uh, Tampa. American Allegheny Vista Jet A319, this came in from Pittsburgh, and it'll go to Phoenix. And then the last new model of the update, the MD, American MD-80, this aircraft is here from... I'm gonna say actually this is I don't know where they fly these they don't fly them from Chicago anymore so I'm trying to think of a route I'm gonna say Dallas because yes yeah, it's it's gonna operate to it from Dallas today because that's where all the MD80s are based so yeah all right uh, over there we got a CRJ 700 which just came in from uh, Cleveland and it'll head to um, Oh man, this is hard. Cle came from Cleveland. It'll head to Cincinnati. Back there's an E145, which uh, came in from Des Moines, Iowa. Head to Indianapolis. Another E145 back there came in from Louisville, and it'll go to Memphis. All right. And then over here, this is a this is an American E175. Um, and this is going off to Montreal, and it came in from Toronto. And huge, actually no, we'll do Toronto. You know, this came from Montreal, and is going to go down to St. Louis. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. 
Alright, and now onto the low cost carrier terminal. You'll notice something completely different. Uh, so I went ahead, came to a decision that I might as well just make, uh, move the Canadian, all my, uh, I guess North American and Central American international carriers to this terminal. Just because to, you know, give up, free up some space over at the international terminal. So we got, and also I did also, if you didn't notice, there used to be a gate here. Remove, I removed that gate. So have some more space for the taxiway here. So the gate here is completely gone. This is just a big taxiway. And let me fix that. Alright. So that jet bridge came here. So now these last three gates at the international terminal are uh, international gate. At, did I say international terminal? Sorry. Last three gates here are international gates. And then those four are just um, domestic low cost carrier. So Allegiant and Southwest, they both used to have, Allegiant had three gates, Southwest had two. Um, now every single LCC has one gate. So Spirit over there, one, Frontier one, Southwest and Allegiant also one. So yeah, and Allegiant, Went ahead and downsized on Allegiant's operations. Um, canceled two of their routes. I forgot which ones they were. Um, if n uh, I forgot, so they'll be on the screen right now. So those two routes, they went to American. Um, went ahead and canceled those two routes just to save space. Yeah, so these three gates are international. Doesn't matter what airline uses what. Just got to be international airline using these three gates. So can Canada and then Mexico. And if I get some more... Central American carriers will also go here. All right, so back there, got the Spirit A319, which is going to and from Fort Lauderdale. Frontier A320 Neo, uh, with Champ of the Bronco on the tail, going to and from Denver. Southwest 737-700, came in from Dallas Love Field, and it's going to Nashville. Allegiant A320 New Livery, came in from Orlando Sanford, going back to Sanford. Volaris A320 Neo came in from Guadalajara going to Mexico City. Yeah, and then Air Canada CRJ900 going to and from Toronto Pearson. Huge congratulations to the Toronto Raptors on making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm a Raptors fan. Actually, I got a Raptors shirt on right now. Got a Raptors jersey on. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited for the Raptors making it to the East Finals. Super excited. So yeah, that's going to and from Pearson, and then WestJet 737-700, um, uh, this one, to and from Calgary, that's what it is, yeah, and then this gate, it used to be at the International Terminal over there, but like I said, because I removed that gate, I brought it over here, and it looks pretty cool too, because you got the extension and then the gate, and I painted the gate, it used to be silver, painted it white, just to make it make sense, I guess, so, yeah. So that is the update guys, and as you can see I also added the um, apron foils for this gate, that, those gates over there, and also the road, that's also new, um, road also over there, and I think that's everything, I hope that's everything, uh, yeah, so that concludes the update guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, if you did please leave, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I apologize for this video going up a bit late. Once again, I was just, I was actually just waiting for the new models to get here so I could do it. Um, but yeah, once again, that's it for me. Hopefully, I'll get some videos out, reviews or something. School is just about over for me in about two weeks. Um, so yeah, but that's it. Thanks much once again for watching. Comment, like, rate, comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.